Yeah. Is it is that the ideal portfolio just on the one third part? You know, just is that is that can you go wrong with having, you know, uh one third of each RH product? Is there something no. that could obviously be better? Is that like kind of the standard of like why not do that? Yeah, they're all going to the moon, I think. So why I don't know. I mean, why guess? Why really like take a chance, especially if you're new to the space? I like the simplicity of that. Uh, I think a lot of people get caught up in the numbers. You know, they, they try to, you know, do all these calculations when you really, we really don't have all the data. This stuff hasn't even launched yet. How can, it's very hard to make, you know, predictions and, and uh, projections and stuff like that without having the thing launched and having some time to look at the past history and stuff other than hex. So, yeah, I think that's, I, I like the, um, the, you know, one third, one third, one third of RH products. Just I feel like you can't, that's like they can't lose bag, right? Like, yeah. it's, like, how could you, how could you mess that up? Yeah, that, that's what Richard said. So I'm, it wasn't my, there you go. My, uh... the, vo- the voice of uh, our Lord and Savior, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <no>. Richard Hart. <laughs> um, speaking of Richard, uh, what, what, what is he doing that uh, other founders in crypto just haven't done or they just can't do? Like what, like what, why is he the horse to bet on in crypto? I mean, he is a force of nature. I mean, he's not a, he's not a regular person. Like, I think there's more to him than just, you know, his intellect. I think a lot of people are very smart, but I mean, you see the way the community really will uh, <laughs> die by him, so to speak. I, I, um, I guess you could say part of it is because of the game theory of Hex where, you know, you're, you're here and you're not leaving. And I think part of it is just kind of, I guess, a cult of personality kind of thing. Um, you know, I, obviously meeting it in a, in a positive way, like people are loyal to him. Sure. And they see like he's done well by so many people. I mean, it's hard to not, it's hard to not believe in him. He's got a proven track record and, and there's no ulterior motive. I mean, it's all on the table. He wants to make you rich. <laughs> I mean, does any other founder say that? Like I'm here to make people rich <laughs> and he's done it. Nope. And he hasn't sold. He, unlike other founders, he's never sold. Uh, he takes game theory very serious. I don't, I haven't seen game theory been so prominent in any other community as it has been X, right? I, I don't know. It spreads like wildfire for all the community projects. Now everyone's like, what, what, how can we reduce sell pressure? How can we do staking? How can we make sure everyone's incentivized to hold and give them this game? this really fun game to play. That's not yeah. just clicking buttons all day long, like to keep them, you know, uh, incentivized with, uh, with the community. Um, yeah. that's been the most impressive thing to me is how it, it is just like trickled down into the community of like, everyone needs to be thinking about game theory and that that's got to create some innovations. You know, well, yeah. I think it has with Hedron and Maximus and stuff. Yeah. And, and he, and like I'm saying like he, it, within the game theory, it's not only for the price to go up, it's for you to get rich. I mean, you're saving yourself from yourself. So it's very special. It's something that has not happened in crypto before. Um, most people that get in, don't make a lot of money. They sell too early, too late. Um, it's just how it is. Yeah. The human psychology of, um, of just, you know, I, I think it was useful in our primitive days of humans of, okay, let's watch everyone eat the fruit. If no one dies, <laughs> that's good. Okay. Now we can eat the fruit. You know, the fruit has been established, but in investing, it's like the opposite. You, you want to, you can't wait for consensus. If you're waiting for consensus, you missed all the gains on the way up. And now, now that you feel good about it, that's probably the top. And now it's just like yeah. this horrible cycle people get into. Yeah, you really have to reverse great. your instincts. That's a great way of putting it. That's why you got to leave it to code. <laughs> it's the only way to do it, especially if you're not rich. If you're rich, that's why the rich keep on getting richer. They don't get, they don't have to. They could buy the top and wait five, six years. Next run up, like no problem. They got all the money they need. It's, yeah. 